curator Henry Duffy on avoiding an international dispute, a group of people standing beside a gold-colored statue, a seated park ranger. I'm also pleased to think that through some of the exhibits, through some of the lectures, through some of the publications, through some of the um, traveling exhibits and, and other pro programs, we've been able to bring St. Gardens to a wider audience. And um, I'm, I'm really happy about that as well. I think I, um, it's one thing to have a great collection in a site like this, but not everybody travels to Cornish. So it's nice to be able to bring it to other people. Um, one of the most interesting, for me, I have several of the more interesting ones, I think, are the pieces that have been um, called uh, on loan to Europe. There was a bust of Lincoln that traveled to Russia um, in the Obama administration. Um, the um, courier that went with it told remarkable stories of how that piece made it from the Finnish border to Moscow that um, and only in Russia, um, the highway between the border and Moscow had been completely closed down for the passage of that piece. And it was accompanied by a military escort uh, because the Russians knew that this was coming through the U.S. government and didn't want anything to happen to it, so they were going to make sure that it made it to Moscow with, without interference. So the highway was closed and there was this convoy that went. That's a pretty cool, amazing story. Um, some of the pieces have gone to Rome, to Hamburg, Germany, to France, Switzerland, and of course I don't know all the adventures that happened <laughs> on the way there. There was a piece that was on its way to Rome. I called up the airline that was moving it and they said it was in Milan, and I said, but Milan is, you know, several hundred miles away. What's it doing there? And they said, oh, no, it's, it's no problem. It'll get there. And I, you know, it's out of my hands, but, I mean, but it did. It did get there. Um, I, I, I always like those kind of stories, and I, and I um, like some of my own um, involvement, too, in um, Switzerland, there was a press conference that I was asked to be at to talk about the exhibit that we'd brought over. And I thought, okay, fine, I can do that. But I soon realized that it was more than I was ready for because they didn't speak English. So it was all in Italian, in French, in German. Um, so. I quickly said to somebody next to me, somebody's going to have to translate because otherwise it's going to be a very short press conference because I'm not going to know any of these questions. So there was someone simultaneously translating to me and I was talking and then the, somebody was translating it out. That was, that was kind of a, an amazing situation. Um, and um, I was hoping that the answers were translating right, that I wasn't, you know, saying something that was going to cause an international incident or something. Um, there were other situations like that that, that I've enjoyed, but there's, there's just um, moments like that that, are, that kind of stand out in my mind as moments that I'll remember, and um, I hope that they've brought some enjoyment to other people as well. Arrowhead Emblem of the National Park Service, St. Gaudens National Historical Park, your national park for the arts, a group of people standing beside a gold-colored statue.